Well, the solar panels, they look really good, but they were not giving out any electricity. So I'm just having a little look. I think I found a problem because I've checked the connection and well, I don't think there's any connection left. So let's change that, see how it works. Okay, reconnected it, check out. We have eight amps pumping through it. After the connection, we still have the same amps going through it. So there's yeah, nine amps extra now getting into the batteries. So that's great, that's uh, probably six hours a day. So six times nine, so that's at least like 50 amps a day extra. Checking the big boy for a second. Also pumping out eight, nine. So uh, that's great. Okay, now for the last five months, we have a gas problem. You know, the gas bottles run empty. We're smelling gas and like all the time we close the bottle, we open the bottle, we close it. Uh, so I just want to have the system really right. So disconnecting everything, everything goes out. Well, I'm going to try it first without the system and the cable and hopefully it works then. If it doesn't, then I'll uh, get a new cable in there. A lot of work, but uh, we're not fooling around, playing around with gas. Okay, easiest way to check gas legs so the valve is open bubbles around it if it will be leaking it will be blowing bubbles so you can do that with every connection just get some foam hold it around it if it blows bubbles then you know it's leaking i'm gonna open it a little bit so you can see when it's leaking you can see the bubbles blowing so there you can see it's leaking Check out this beautiful hummingbird, people. No, these are not artificial. This is the blue land crab. Check that out. How crazy is that? Okay, engine running because we're low on energy and we need something very luxurious today. We brought our washing to the laundry. <gasps> nice fresh clothes. People can be happy so easily. Always the same weather when we're leaving. It's like the world is crying when we leave a place. Bye bye Linton Bay, you were beautiful. Just fueled up. Yeah, sure. Here we go, 30 hours to Bocas del Toro. Okay, when you don't put stuff tight, like your washing detergent, it goes everywhere and you're cleaning for an hour. Washing detergent, it's a mess. We have a lot of big waves. So yeah, there's another 40 minutes of cleaning. Washing detergent, oh my God, what a mess. A little bit of floating debris, check that out. You do not want to hit that. That's like whole trees floating here. That's gonna kill your keel. So uh, yeah, we gotta watch it out on this route. A lot of rain, live, rivers are spitting out big trees. Okay guys, today we're having a little bit of Murphy's Law because uh, first uh, the autopilot was malfunctioning. Still is. Still is. <laughs> uh, then we had a little problem with the engine that was making a sound, so I opened up the hatch to notice that what? The screw was loose of the uh, alternator. alternator. So there was a screw loose, so uh, we tried to fix that, and then what happened, Chip? Well, then of course the autopilot fell, and we were spinning around the uh, fishing rod uh, uh, got into the propeller. So we're in the middle of the ocean right now with fishing rod in the propeller so that means that with the jumping and we don't like to jump in do we? i did it last time <laughs> you did it last time when we saw the shark so now it's my time okay getting in getting it out of the propeller okay not so nice being in the water with blood and yeah, you know how afraid i am of sharks that's pretty rough getting all the line out of the propeller when there's so much swell. Check it out. Oh. So unfortunately, I know how it feels to get killed now, but uh, it's out. 
Let's continue our journey. Okay, so the autopilot was malfunctioning. Looks perfect on this side, not a single thing. But on the other side, you can see there's a water. And there's water connecting the different lines. So I'm gonna clean it up. Just, uh, you can see it was water here as well, cleaned it up. I'm gonna clean it with alcohol and uh, scrub it up a little bit. You can see like the connection is there because of the water, it might give some shortcuts. So uh, clean it up, 70% of alcohol should do the trick. Okay, so there was water under these little plates and uh, you see the three dots. These are actually connected like with a little bit of tape. But if there's water underneath it, the machine thinks it's pushing the button. So replacing these little stickers with some foil. You can see it, the square one is what I did, so there's no more water underneath there. That's still covered in water, changing that as well. Okay, that's not too bad. A couple of pieces of plastic and one screw left over, so uh, <laughs> let's see if it works. We reinstalled it and uh, no more beeping. Yeah. How much do you trust this shit? No, I don't trust this uh, old te technology. At all. Okay, yeah, most people do that with a pin set and want some very sophisticated uh, stuff, but a little bit of alcohol and some uh, small fingers. Well, I can do the trick as well. Let's see what's happened. I fully trust this system again, as long as it doesn't get wet. Yip is a little bit skeptical. I say we're gonna make this easy until uh, Bocas del Toro. And of course, well, installing the autopilot, the cable snapped because it was corroded from the charger. So I had to fix that as well. <sighs> When Murphy Law hits, Murphy's Law hit hard. Quite some swell here today. This doesn't happen often, but it's night and we're having dolphins in front of the boat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. So close, now our uh, engine stopped. It's only 34 miles, but do the times two, the 70 miles because we have to go. So that's probably another 20 hours. Okay, looks like it was time to uh, clean the diesel filter. I was a little bit late. So that's the pre-filter. Uh, all getting all the dirty diesel out, cleaning it with fresh diesel, and then uh, we should have a running engine again. It's not my days guys, it's not my days working on the engine. I had to drill some holes, but I've done that outside of the boat. And then I had a little accident while drilling the hole and my drill fell overboard. So now Yip is trying to fail, find a drill 
10 meters on the bottom. Oh, it's a big yellow one and it's the Walt, so I can save it. And he's also going to check out. Do you have the flashlight? Flashlight, yeah, coming up. I think somewhere around here? Yeah, should be around about there, yeah. And it's 10 meters deep, so that's 10 down, 10 up. So that's a long way. Damn it. But I trust my buddy Yip. Okay, so one of the most dirty jobs, people don't like it, but actually you can see it, it's only one, two, three pipes and like six screws to change the whole bulb. Uh, people always wonder why boat sinks, well this is where you pump the water in, if you take it out and there's a leak, that is salt water. Well you can see the amount of it flowing in, so you'll sink a boat within a day if a connection gets loose, that's why you always use two clamps on each connection so it will never accidentally goes off okay well you've got a valve that goes with the curly side up up on there so this goes on here one connection two connection i only need to adjust this one that's only two screws tighten it up and done Aha! finally a new flushing system perfect and always guys don't make it yourself hard make sure the screws are up up there so make sure that every screw you can loosen or tighten up without first having to put a lot of stuff on board you can see all my screws are always easy accessible okay guys we just met up with dan and victoria again here in uh, bocas del toro and they invited us to this floating bar and check it out there we are the floating bar this is gonna be a fun day Victoria, show how it's done. I'm gonna crush it! Yeah! Ah, oh, that's a good one. Crushing it! Crush it. Yeah! It's all about the follow through. Of course it is, yeah. I just want to know where were you aiming at? I wasn't. I was just thinking about me. This is the plate. And that's for yeah, the. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like, you right were just a little middle. bit off. Did I do this one? Uh, I need to look up. See, oh, but look how hot it is. Eh? <laughs> 